So I'm going to answer a question that was put to me on YouTube. Is it normal for newbies learning programming for the first time to blank when writing code? Very common, in fact. So that will just come with time. One, one quick tip, IDEs, Integrated Development Environments, they're there to help you remember the particular syntax, the particular uh, code that you need to write for a particular situation. That's one reason why the Lord of Nerds created IDEs, Integrated Development Environments, where they have code completion and code hinting, such an, an important tool. Yes, it's normal for you to blank out all the time. It's a, it's a question of repetition, it's a question of exposure. You are fortunate these days that you have Google, because if you forget a piece of code, you just refer to Google and you get your answer there. So don't worry about that. That's why a little shameless plug in my Studio Web app, I have a huge amount of coding uh, quiz questions built into it because I want you to start writing and start engaging with the content. Now, watching videos is fine uh, for, for learning, uh, especially once you have some experience or you're just, we're talking concepts like this. This is cool. But when you're getting into coding for the first time, and you want to drive that, that memory into you, you need repetition, you need constant exposure, you have to be writing code. So with Studio Web, just with the first three courses, HTML5, CSS3, and the JavaScript, there's well over a thousand quiz questions. A thousand quiz questions. Why so many? Because the quiz questions reinforce the knowledge, and you're writing a lot of code, you're writing a lot of code, you're writing a lot of code. When you write the code a lot, boom, 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 the important code, you'll find that you can remember it much more quickly. That's why people learn much more and much more quickly with Studio Web. All right, that's the end of that shameless plug. So yeah, when you're learning code for the first time, you're gonna be pulling a lot of blanks. Try not to get frustrated with that. Uh, try not to get frustrated when you run into um, code problems where the logic is not clear to you, uh, or you run into bugs where you can't figure out the bugs. I've given bug uh, tips, bug uh, handling tips in the past videos where, for example, if you hit a bug and you try for 15, 20 minutes on and you can't figure it out, get a friend, see if they can figure it out. Or if you can't figure it out, leave that for now, go on to something else. What will happen 95% of the time, the next day you wake up and you sit down at the bug and you go, oh, there's the answer. It's just this way it works. So yeah, coding is going to teach you to be patient. So you got to be patient with yourself. You got to give yourself time to learn it. You got to give yourself time to write it. So I hope that helps. All right, bye bye.